Right. How you guys doing? So, you know, I gotta ask how my boy's doing. You guys doing good? You guys killing it in life yet? You guys using these videos and actually putting them to use yet? Come on. Let's get started. So, first of all, I haven't been posting much or I didn't post these last two days. I was um I was working a double at my job, so it was hard to hard to fit it in, I'm not gonna lie, but yeah, I need to start making more videos um, ahead of time. Instead of making them the day of, I just need to start making just videos in batches. But anyways, let's get to the video. So this whole video is going to be on reinventing yourself and how to reinvent yourself and why it's important to reinvent yourself if you're a little strange, if you're a little weird, if you, um, <laughs> all right, not if you're a little strange, I mean, yeah, if you're a little strange, you're a little weird, but um, more so if you just feel like the need that... Um, you're not who you portray yourself anymore and you really want to reinvent yourself. So, anyway, let's talk about becoming a better version of yourself. So, why it's important to reinvent yourself. A lot of people, they want to reinvent themselves is because they are tired of being this person they've been their whole life. And they kind of have to stick with it because their friends know them as a certain type of person. Um, everyone knows them as this certain type of person. So, when they start acting out of character acting out of the person that they know, they think it's strange and they think it's weird and most people um, don't want to change themselves because they care about what people think about them. So we'll get into that, all that. So first of all, if you feel that way, that you want to change, but you think if you change, people will think you're weird or people will think, why is he acting different? Fuck them. Who gives a fuck what they think? Do it because you want to change it. Stop giving a fuck if they... Oh, they they might judge you. Who cares, dude? If they if you change for the better, and then they judge you on it, fuck them. You don't want to be friends with that person in the first place. So the people that are real and the people that care about you, the people that want you to better your, better yourself, they'll stay in your life. And the people that don't, they'll they'll think you're weird and they they won't want to be friends with you in the first place. And you don't want to be friends with them. So, um, yeah, let them fall off. What you'll be left with is just the real friends, which is the friends you want. So, um, yeah, that's that's one of the reasons why you should reinvent yourself so you lose fake friends but yeah so let's get into it how to become a better version and how to reinvent yourself first think about the person you are now okay and then think about the person you want to become think about what characteristics you want to stop in yourself and then think about what characteristics you want to uh you want to develop for example let's say you don't have much confidence right now so you want to gain confidence let's say you um, do some things you're not happy about or do some things that are a little, that you think are a little weird just because it's part of your persona or whatnot. Stop doing that weird shit. That's what you need to do. Write it down. Write down everything you wanted to gain and then write down everything you want to lose. So all the characteristics you want to stop, all the traits you want to stop, all the shit you, you're doing right now that currently that you want to stop doing and all the things that you want to gain. So most people, yeah, they want to stop doing the weird shit they're doing. They want to um, gain confidence. They want to dress better. Um, if you aren't working out, start working out. If you have a certain hairstyle you want to go for, but you've been rocking the same hairstyle because you, you don't want to change it because you think people judge you, but you really want to rock this new hairstyle, fucking go to the barber right now and rock that new hairstyle. Fuck him. Start doing shit unapologetically. Just start going for it. The main thing you want to do is you want to better yourself and you want to, I'm guessing you want to reinvent yourself is you want to change how your personality but you also want to change your look okay so you want to start looking better so if you haven't gone to the gym go to the gym you will look way better if you're worried about getting muscles it's not even the muscles if you start working out your face will slim down your acne will clear up because working out will get rid of all the toxins in your body um, you'll just look better and by the way just fyi it's way easier to be friends with good looking people it's how it is we judge people you know, it always says don't judge a book by its cover, but we're people. That's what we do. So if you're a good looking guy, it's easier for me to be friends with you. I know it's simple. People might say, oh, that's so gay. Oh, but aren't you a dude? Why do you care what a guy looks like? Are you gay? See, stop that. We're above that. That's some child. That's some childish shit. Now, let's say a guy's cool, right? Like he, he's a personality. He's a dope guy. If he's a good looking dude, took care of himself, had good hygiene. It would be way easier to be friends with him and get him get him in the friend group than the ugly dude. Because a good-looking guy with a great personality will bring up your, your friend group, brings up the value. Every guy wants value. Every guy wants power. Every guy wants that 
that status look, you know, so whether you admit it or not. Um, that's why a lot of people want to be friends with celebrities because they want to get their own status up. Simple as that. If you're a good looking guy, it will bring the value of the friend group up. It's as simple as that. And also, if you're an ugly dude, like, dude, we don't want to scare away the hoes from the group. So <laughs> it's, it's as true as that. You bring more value when you're a good looking guy. And if you're an ugly ass dude, you might scare the hoes away. We don't want that. You know, we don't want it. So, yeah, become a better version of yourself. Reinvent yourself. All right. Now let's get into the stop caring about what people think, a.k.a. stop giving a fuck what people think about you. All right. First of all, you'll feel the most free when you stop caring about what other people think about you or their opinions just in general. Am I shaking the fucking whatever? Anyways, you'll feel most free. You'll feel most at peace because you'll be doing exactly what you want to do. And you just simply just won't care. Because when you care about what other people's opinions, especially other people's opinions about you, it's like you're handcuffed. You're shackled. You'll do. You'll always have the thought, oh, but will this, well, how will other people think about me? Oh, will this person think differently? Who gives a fuck? Do what you think different about you. What what will you feel better doing? Do that. And I promise you, you'll feel way more at peace, way more free, way better when you stop caring about people's opinions. And I'll, I'll make a video on how to stop caring about people's opinions. Um, it's not that hard. You just got to do it. But I'll make a video on it. It'll be a quick video, though. Um, yeah, stop caring. But saying that, uh, be ready to lose some friends, though. You know how I was talking about reinventing yourself. When you stop caring about people's opinions, you'll start realizing the people's opinions that you don't care about for sure. Um, there are, you'll have some friends in your group that like when you start hearing what they say and you really start thinking about it and you actually switch to stop giving a fuck, you'll, you'll hear some of their opinions and you'll be like, God, I don't give a fuck about what you're, what you're talking about. Like, that might be the dumbest shit I've heard. And you'll start processing it. So when I say stop giving a fuck about what people think or stop caring about what people think, don't don't just stop caring about what anyone thinks ever. Obviously, if you're your friend and you care about them and they have good opinions on things, obviously care about what they think. But they're valuable, obviously care. But they bring no value and they just say dumb shit all the time. Who gives a fuck what they think? Like if it brings no value, it brings no value. It's that simple. But obviously, if people that you trust or people that you respect obviously care about what they think, I'm not saying don't care about what anyone thinks. If you don't care about what anyone thinks at all, you just won't have any friends. But stop caring about people that you don't care about. That's the biggest thing. The, I think the weirdest thing is people that try to impress people they don't care about. Stop doing that shit. That's what I mean about stop giving a fuck about what other people think about you. If you don't care about them, if you don't care if they lived or died, if you don't care if they... Whatever happened to him, happened to him. You'd feel bad, but at the end of the day, you would keep moving on with your life. Don't give a fuck about them. I know that shit's harsh, but stop caring about what they think because it's stupid. Too many people do that because I used to do that. When I was in high school, I used to care about what everyone thought about me. And you look insecure doing that, so stop doing it. Um, yeah, that's today's video. Um, if you want to really get this process in your mind, really get this th thought going, restart this video and take some notes. Figure it out. Because I'm telling you, even though it's just a video, if you actually do this and you actually really want to reinvent yourself and you do reinvent yourself, you'll become a completely different person and you'll love yourself. I'm telling you. If you already love yourself, great. I'm glad you clicked on the video in the first. In the meantime. But um, yeah, if you really listen to what I said, so for example, think about all the characteristics you want to have and think about all the characteristics you have now that you don't want and want to get rid of. Write them all down. Okay. And just check off one by one by one by one. And really read it. Read that note. Read that page that you wrote down every single day in the morning. And really try every day to keep that in the forefront in your mind. And to, So if you ever catch yourself doing a certain trait you don't want to do, quit it. Stop it. Stop it. And eventually you'll build a habit and you'll become this new person. That's how that shit works. Yeah, but like I said, if you like this video, subscribe, okay? It helps it'll help me out because I'm not stopping here. This is what I'm doing. Yeah, you won't catch me stopping. This is all I do. If you like the video, please like it. Get the algorithm going. I'm a small fucking channel. You can call me a channel. I'm just a dude speaking. But yeah, like it so you get some other people that can um, you know, help out. And hopefully this shows up on their for you, for you page or shows up on their Explore page. And it can change their life too. Or 
it can change your life for the better.